Look at this, everyone. Oh, my word. I'm actually shaking. I am so excited. Me too. Hey, Seb, look Me at too. that little cub that we've just found. This lioness has been kind enough to allow us to follow her back to the den. I can see we've seen three cubs, everyone. Three beautiful little cubs for the first time. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> Happy birthday, Megan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I've positioned, she's, I've been hiding them in the drainage line. Now these cubs, you can see they are still young, but their eyes are open, they're moving around. So I think, I think my estimate of about a, a month old is, is probably accurate. Look at that. And they're busy calling, they're calling. Oh, they are still so young. Oh my word, everyone. This is just amazing. Oh, it's a bit tricky. Like I said, I actually, I've tried to keep our distance. I don't want to get too close. I don't want the lioness to feel threatened in any way. And again, remember I said this is very important for us to potentially have better views of these cubs at a later stage. How amazing is this? And what a privilege to be able to view them. Now, the lioness is, uh, I will try to move again if once these cubs settle down, they, but they're heading to, this lioness is lying. Oh, let's just hold on. There we go. You can see she's lying just under that gory tree for now. Now it is a difficult view everyone, but like I said, I, d I don't want to move around too much just yet. And first allow them to get used to the sound of our voices and, and the smells. It's all new for them. So we do have to be sensitive. But I will reposition. I can move a little bit to the left and I will shortly, let me, let me try Seb. Okay. Hang on a second. I'm just going to try and move a little bit off to the left. Yeah. Isn't this amazing? Oh, this is really, really great. Even Seb, if I go a little bit further back, maybe. Just off to the side. That should be okay, huh? Let's have a look. Yeah, she's still relaxed. She's still fine. And we'll be able to see these little <laughs> bund bundles of joy, I suppose. Now, Ed, um, you say these little cubs look really healthy. They, they do indeed. They do. Um, oh, there we go. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my word. This is amazing. I mean, you know what, you can't describe this, it's just, it's just watch and enjoy. All three cubs, look at that. <laughs> well, everyone, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's been a... It's been an interesting few days. We've seen two buffalo carcasses. Lions have been feeding on the buffalo. It's not always easy to see lions feeding on carcasses. We found those lions on that buffalo carcass, but it's provided a lot of food for the lions, which is great. A lot of food for this lioness. And as a result, she's been able to come back and forth from this den. It's not too far from the other kill and been able to feed the cubs. So. That's a, a cycle in nature. So everything happens for a reason out here. Well, everyone, 
This is a first for all of us. Uh, Mr. P, all, all the way in Canada, um, you asked what age do they start getting their vision? I think it's, I think it's uh, around three weeks, if I'm not mistaken. I think their eyes start opening properly, and they can see. If I, if I'm not mistaken, I stand to correction, Mr. P, but I think it's around, around about there, about three weeks or so. That's what I say. I think these cubs are about three weeks to a month old. Oh. Better not squash the little cubs. <laughs> but look how careful she is around them. Oh. <coughs> and a lot of a lot of you saying I must be, feel so honored myself and Sebastian, not just me, but myself and Sebastian feel so honored to be in the sighting and definitely Hey Sebastian, oh, course. I mean, this Amazing. this is um, this is really really very special. What a Sunday treat, huh? Yeah, oh, this is a an amazing treat, and and this is not something you get to see very often. Um, to be the first one to come into a den site, to see the cubs for the first time, and you can see they seem very happy very playful oh there we go they're probably going to start suckling Anna Marie you say you love how fluffy they are they are they are little balls of fluff at the moment This is so special. But yeah, all three of these cubs look very healthy. Looks like they've all managed to get a position to to suckle. Sure. This is really I mean hard. How else can you describe it? I mean, you, you know, is um, yeah, maybe let's uh, let's let's try do a one-word tweet. You know, I don't think it's fair to try get uh, one word to describe this, but maybe we can add a lot of your words together. So send us a one-word tweet of how this is making you feel or what you think about this particular sighting. Hashtag Safari Live. Send us your comments. We really have had a great two days. Lions, leopard, elephant, buffalo. Eagle owl. The, the, yeah, the giant eagle owl. There's been so much happening. Oh, sham, she's moving. Where's she going? You can see the little cubs are getting upset. Why did mom move? And again, you see, this this is all part of... I mean, they are tiny. Look how small those little cubs are compared to that lioness. <laughs> they look almost like they're just bigger than her paws. There we go. We should get a nice view from this side now if she allows him to go back and suckle. It's 
some hungry little cubs. Now, what I would suggest to to everyone, and I'm going to probably chat to Tristan about this. Um, he knows the guides in the area a bit better, but I would suggest a situation like this. We can potentially open this den site to be viewed by vehicles. However, I would suggest one vehicle per game drive and only if they follow the lioness to the den. These cubs are still far too young for vehicles to come in here by themselves. So if they follow the lioness and she brings them to the den, then I think that would uh, that would be okay. And maybe one vehicle per game drive. So there's not a lot of movement around. And once, so when I say per game drive, I mean so per either um, sunrise safari or sunset safari, one vehicle. So if people do decide to come, they need to be patient. They can't move around here too much. Don't want to just. You need to always. You need to be sensitive in a situation like this. So that's what I think. But I'll chat to Tristan and see what they say. Our Laura Moore, one word tweets. You say treasure. Doesn't look like this lioness is very comfortable. She keeps moving. Tess, you say devotion. That's your one word tweet. So treasure, devotion. Andrea, you say yours is blessed. Yeah, I, I, I think so too. Oh, Barbara, you say hopeful. That's a nice one too. Look at these little cubs. <laughs> the grass is so long for them. Oh, it's moving again. Hold on a second. She lay down now. Oh, sorry, you said my hat. I'm just trying to see. This little magic worry tree is just in the wrong position. <laughs> it's in front of us, but I, I don't want to um, park the vehicle over it because that, uh, that I think is just too much movement for these, not just for the cubs, but for the lioness too. I don't want her to, to feel uncomfortable. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Sebastian, can you think of one word to describe this? Legacy. Oh, Sebastian says legacy. I think that's a great one too. Lovely one, Sebastian. Yeah. Mm, legacy for the... Uh, Megan says she thinks that wins so far legacy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, Seb, I'm just going to try slightly I'm just move back a little bit again I think um, all right now I'm just gonna try reposition the nose down here but while I do that let's head back to Tristan and see how he feels about these new additions to the Nkuma pride